I'm growing tired of the theist argument that people must be individual creations of God because of the apparently unlikely odds of our existence. Apparently the odds of us being in just the right area of the universe to allow for our survival and to evolve in just such a way that we would be how we are now and for each sperm that became each of us to just so happen to survive are so astronomically small that we must be here by celestial beings' specific will. The William Lane Craig take on this argument from the cosmology perspective is this. This has been pointed out by Frank uh, Tipler and John Barrow in their book, The Anthropic Cosmological Principle. They list ten steps in the evolution of Homo sapiens, each of which, each of which is so improbable that before it would have occurred by chance alone, the sun would have ceased to be a main sequence star and incinerated the earth. They estimate the evolution of the human genome, are, are, are the odds of this are somewhere between four to the negative 180th power to the 110,000th power and four to the negative 360th power to the 110,000th power. So if evolution did occur, it would literally be a miracle and therefore evidence for the existence of God. <laughs> Not so much. I don't know if Frank Tipler or John Barrow's odds are based on anything relevant or even real, or if they're just pure bullshit speculation, but the important thing to understand is that the odds of our existence likeliness are completely irrelevant. We exist, and that's all that matters. The odds may be considered if cosmology argued that the exact same thing will happen again and again, but it doesn't. It simply states what we know has happened at this point, which led to things as they are. It would be like flipping through this book and randomly picking a word. Let's see. Okay, my finger landed on the word conjure. Okay, now this book has over 1,300 pages in it, each which is completely covered in words. The odds of me picking the word conjure are incredibly low. Just think of all the possible permutations of letters that could have been printed on that particular book in that particular place. And you mean to tell me that I just happened to put my finger on the word conjure like it was some kind of random accident? Well, first, let's not confuse accident and chance. There was no rhyme, reason, or intention, or guiding force to the process of my word selection from that book. Just as there was no rhyme, reason, or guiding force that led to the universe to be as it is. It would be the same if I were to go to the beach and pick up a grain of sand. The odds of me picking up that one grain of sand out of all the sand on the earth may be astronomically slim, but that doesn't mean I couldn't have picked up that one grain of sand without divine and supernatural guidance. Creationists in particular tend to misrepresent cosmology and evolution with this argument because they act as if our current status is the ideal be-all, end-all status, the answer to which was predetermined and that we claim that it will be repeated. Now, if I was to claim ahead of time that I will randomly flip through that book and land on the word conjure the majority of the time, then I would have much more of a claim to support. However, the current status of the universe and the current status of humankind are not final answers. They're snapshots of the moment. If the Big Bang was to start all over today, then billions of years from now, there may be any number of different results from what we have right now. Nothing in science suggests that we only could come to the same conclusion from a repetition of the universe experiment as what we've come to at this particular occasion. Therefore, the odds don't matter. We're here. And rather than argue over the likelihood of us existing or not when we know that we do, the argument of our origin should be more highly focused on the likeliness of how we got here. How we arrived at this point is much more of a meaningful topic with empirical observable data to draw from than the argument of whether we're here or not. That cosmological biological data will clearly demonstrate that we're here in this area that supports life because the environment was here first and then we came. It will also state that we arrived at this current status due to constantly changing series of cause and effects including adaptations, reactions, and results called natural and sexual selection. Not by random chance. Stating it's unlikely we would be here and therefore whatever reason you make up for it must be the truth just plain doesn't work. Because guess what Mr. Craig? We're here. Now let's move on. <laughs>